Today is a very exciting day. We're basically having a pop-up in London for my clothing brand and I want to show you guys the space, how much it costs to have a store in London. So we're basically here for five or six days. The first day is tomorrow. So right now we're just in the process of setting everything up in terms of the stock, the rail units, decals on the windows, etc. So I'm going to show you guys around and kind of talk about the cost of everything and having a pop-up. Now this space is basically in between Greek Street and Dean Street down here. And this space here is 375 pounds a day. We've got it for five or six days. It's so all in about 3,300. In terms of the decals on the window, this decal was 50 quid. We have to set up ourselves. This one was 20 quid. Now inside the store, we're not fully done setting everything up. But this is the current situation in the store. So we've got one, two, three, four rails and a changing room. The full price for those things were about 950 pounds to rent just to sort of kit up the store. We also got a cash desk and a little storage unit down here, which is basically for all the shoes and other storage. Now when we got this space, it's basically just a square box. So there was nothing installed at all. It's basically just four white walls and lighting and that's it. So we've had to bring all the rugs in, the furniture, and even set up a whole curtain just for stock reasons. So we basically set up a curtain here, which is about four and a half meters long, just to separate between the front of the store. And then in the back, there's basically stock room. So currently we're setting it up. Boxes here, light fixtures, four rails we bought today, big rail for jackets and stuff. But this is basically the stock room for now. These were 50 quid each, so 200 just to have some shelving units. The curtain, I think we spent 170 pounds on the curtain pole, and then we spent about 95 quid on the actual curtain. So that's another 270 pounds. I'm gonna finish off sort of getting the shop ready. I'm gonna crack on and get to work. It is the morning of the pop-up and I'm tired AF. Only the last small tweaks before opening at 11. It's currently nine o'clock. Annoyingly, yesterday we got bad news, which means that the hoodies and jeans that I meant to drop today at the pop-up and online are not coming. They're basically stuck in customs, but I did get a phone call this morning from FedEx saying that half the jeans are here. So, fingers crossed. I'm gonna see you guys at the pop-up and show you what it looks like. I'll give you guys a tour of the whole space and kind of show you what it ended up looking like. So here we've got shoes, accessories, fisherman knits, all the shoes stocked on here, the forest overcoats, pleated pants, hoodies, jeans, a little sitting area. We've got a changing room and then the rail here and then the fleece is here. And then same as yesterday, all the stock is basically in the back. So very, very, very full. We basically want to feel as much as a store as possible and not really a pop-up. So we wanted to kind of kit it out nicely in a way that could feel like it was an actual store. So if you're in London, swing by. We're here all weekend. Day number one of pop-up is done. We are walking home through Soho. I'm gonna debrief when I get home. Just gonna get a pint and I'm gonna just go home basically. It's been a long day. So I am now back home from the pub. I've had a singular pint. So I've been very um, sensible, basically. But it has been a long day, but it's been an amazing day. Honestly, I think going into the whole idea of having a pop-up, I've always been so terrified because the brand has been for seven years now and we've never done anything physical experience, pop-up store, nothing ever. And I think it's partly because I've been terrified of like 
what if people don't show up? Like, what if people just watch a YouTube video but don't show up? And it's like, ugh, do you want to realize that in person through like an investment in, the, in a pop-up store? But we had around 150 people come through today, which is amazing. But I do think that in this sort of space, that is sort of men's clothing or men's fashion, there's so much emphasis on drops and like sellout culture and you've got to have a queue around the block for your store to be a success. But I think something that we've realized today is no one likes in queuing. Like no one likes queuing. People in a queue don't like it. People in a store don't like it because there's just a rush to get people in and out all the time. So I think the fact that we've actually got people coming in throughout the day and it's not feeling too rushed means that we can speak to everyone. We can get to know people. We can try on the clothes they want to try on and not feel like they're in a rush to check out because they've got to leave in like five minutes. I'm working Saturday tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. We are packing up. So if you want to come say, so you want to come to that. So if you want to come say hi, we are in London. This is the address. Ring. We're going to be here until Monday night and then we'll be gone. puffer up top very nice underneath there is a running forest green hoodie then we've got the new running washed black jeans I love the fit on these and then the running hiker boots and then lastly an Aries orange carabiner belt that's today's fit very cozy for the store today got about an hour until the store opens and then just gonna set everything up and get it ready to go now all payments in the shop are made on this which is basically like a square pdq and that's what it looks like on the on the front so basically you have to just put the card in on the side or tap here so we need an ipad and a stand we can see yesterday we did 4450 pounds in 30 sales now our total cost for the whole pop-up were about i think five grand for everything including the rent the kit out and then we've got to add staff on top of that as well but it basically means that the shop is pretty much now fully paid for which is sick and we've still got three days we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys in the loop and hopefully you get to check out the store if not this is what it looks like see you guys in the next video peace